Welcome to Retro Arcade Reviews. My name is John, and in this episode, we will be reviewing the arcade classic, The Cliffhanger, Edward Randy. The Cliffhanger, Edward Randy is a side-scrolling action-adventure game that was developed by Data East in 1990. The Cliffhanger, Edward Randy is a cool game. Now, this game never saw a stateside release, nor was it released for any home ports, probably because it resembles Indiana Jones. I mean, the resemblance is so close that the only thing missing is the hat. But it would be unfair to keep comparing the game to Indiana Jones because the game is pretty fun and unique. First off, let's get the bad out of the way. The game appears somewhat dimly lit. Now, I don't know if it's the game itself or just poor emulation, but every pic or video of the game appears somewhat dim. For the purposes of this video, I had to apply some subtle color correction to make it a bit more vivid. I think this would have had a little bit more punch in this presentation in the arcades. Fret not though. I don't do this with every game, just this one in particular because I found that this game was in badly need of it. Other than that, the game truly has a cinematic feel. It's fast paced, action packed, and every board offers something visually new. It's one of those rare arcade games that when you're playing it on main, it doesn't feel repetitive. The best way I can describe it is, it's like a 1990s version of Uncharted. In this game, you play as Edward Randy, a teenage boy who is preparing for his date when he was suddenly thrusted into this adventure trying to prevent an army general by the name of Dark Ogre from destroying the world. You and our friend have to fight his army through seven stages of planes, trains, and automobiles. At your disposal, you have a slide attack or you can use your whip to attack and swing at some points. There's also some cutscenes between the stages so if you're interested in some fresh cheese, check out the story. As stated earlier, the game never saw a stateside release nor was it released on any home ports. It was supposed to be released on a Sega Saturn but the deal with the third party developer never evolved into the production stage. The only way to play the game is through an emulator. There's not even that much production info on the game, even on Japanese sites, so it was extremely difficult to get any credible background on the game. So the game is pretty obscure, but a true hidden gem. And if you're a fan of old arcade games, you should truly give this game a shot and let me know what you think.